Welcome aboard round 25. Plenty of betting to be done. And uh, even though the teams were a bit iffy, I think there might be some winners. And these two gentlemen think there might be some winners as well. Joel Kane, Sean Ormerod. Hello once again to you. <laughs> I've got a, the wash of deja vu has just come so over me. What, what's we happened? started what's going recording on 10 minutes ago. Yeah. This is take two because Joel hijacked <laughs> yes. the opening with one of his ridiculous, long-winded ideas. I said we cannot possibly open with it. We cannot subject the KO audience to it. Yeah. And our audio award, we're going to let you be the judge. We're going to create, we'll do it in a couple of days. We'll give, yeah. give, give our normal two parts a bit of breathing space and then we'll pop up a bonus. That's a bad tease. Mate. It's like a car crash. People want to see it. They People want to go listen. there. We did an interview once, myself and uh, Kerry O'Keefe. It was so bad. It was with someone, mate, mate, Tim Zoo might have fought or something. It was a few years ago. Mm. Gary, someone from England, Gary Corcoran. Mm. And we thought, what are we going to do with this? And we said, no, let's pump this up as this is so bad you have to listen. Yeah. And we got more tweets about that interview than anything because we said just, just enjoy how bad this is now what was the flavor of it one word answers like one Dar- word Darius very Boyd. boring mm. um just adult but give the listeners so what it is it is a solution to a very boring last round um, isn't it uh, the, the, tug, and, the tug of war going on is yeah is and the only the tease i'll give you this is 30 percent of minor premiers in the last 10 years have won okay. the premiership Don't hijack no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not right. It is not right in other sports like the Premier League. The best team. So you want the aim of your? Yeah, no, we're talking well, the, about the, too the much. aim no, of no, it no. is is to as best possibly get the best get the teams premier. in the grand final. Here's yeah. my point. Here's my point. Mm. The schedule for round twenty five <clears throat> is. I think we need to have a look at the schedule for round twenty five. I.e., when we put games where uh, you cannot stop teams from. Resting players. They have earned that right. Mm -hmm. And who are you to tell them they can't rest their best players? They're naming their team on Tuesday. So if you bet on the Monday, as I damn well nearly did, I was going to bet the house on Cronulla to beat Melbourne. The house on Cronulla to beat Melbourne. And then the Fox schedule comes out. And I'm on that game at 6 p.m. on Friday. And and I, I don't... I tend not to bet on games I call. So I thought I'll let... Well, thank God, because I think Melbourne have actually named a, a much more competitive team. In fact, much better team than I thought they would. But my point is this. that They're not lying to you, the teams. This is not the old days of all of a sudden Tom Travojevic is going to play number 55 out of nowhere. They've named 20... They're telling you five days in advance. My point is the scheduling. Penrith Parramatta as a showpiece game on Friday is now a joke. A joke. Mm. South Dragons on Saturday night, which is also which is Fox's main game, and it's on free to wear on nine. Is a, 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 it's nice to see some kids for South, but no that, matter where you play that though, that where are they schedule that? That's and that's and and this is my point. And then and then the last game of the regular season, Wests Tigers versus Canterbury. Mm. Are you kidding? So here's my solution, and I won't take. <laughs> no, six but that minutes. makes sense That's because perfect, uh, yeah, because it gives the finals teams a bit more okay. rest. Yeah. That what makes I'm sense. Saying is, there's only three games that matter this weekend. Gold Coast Warriors, possibly, maybe. No, well, ah, and that's why you have to play that first. Yes, because Gold Coast are a chance. Yeah, okay. I think Gold Coast, and they're only four dollers odd. To yeah, they're, make the they're top Thursday eight. night's game. You make them Thursday night, mm. and you say, right, <clears throat> set the table. Then the next game has to be Cronulla Melbourne. You you assume that one of those are going to win? Or who, who's no, not? No, no, no. Canberra. No, you need you need Penrith playing before Melbourne because Penrith need the opportunity. No one cares about the minor premiership. But the only thing that matters that? this week is eighth. The only thing that matters this week is eighth, and you got and three fourth. games. Oh, and fourth, of course. Yeah. But fourth is now. Um, Parramatta's given up on it. The Roosters team, God bless them. They're they're in all sorts of that. They're, they're, mm. So yeah. let me ask you this: if Parramatta have given up on it, right? We know that. Yes. If the Roosters win, or yeah. sorry, if the Roosters get beat, Parramatta has given up on it. Does Turbo? No, he he cannot play. Why? That is what I'm saying. Yeah. It, like in, in in what world would you want to roll him out? Yeah, but oh, let's fast forward, right? You <coughs> yeah. can so you can clearly see this, right? Nathan Cleary destroys a reserve grade Parramatta side, mm. and guess what? Tommy Turbo doesn't play in the last game and hands the. Dally and medal to Nathan Cleary. Mm. Uh, it's an interesting point. The yeah, schedule that, allows them to manipulate it like mm. that because uh, they're the last of those games. 
What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> they want to start That's another, another, another idea going off in his head. Ding? So I'm trying to get the Manly team here. They've actually named a strong team. We, we need a light bulb. So they've the named their best team. Uh, and then the, 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 the four reserves, Toff Sipley, Moses Suley, Curtis Surin and Kurt De Lewis. So they've got no ready-made fullback to come in. Now, um, they've still got to win. Yeah, but you don't. Uh, well, they don't. No, they don't. They're in the top. If, oh, yeah, that's right. If they the don't. Roosters lose, Parramatta's going to lose. They'll, they'll, the know, they'll, lose. Know, they'll know Friday night what's, what's, what they need to do. Well, I live in a world where I need Jason Saab to score five tries, and I don't think it's out of the realms of possibility. But you, it's but, that awful North but, Queensland But you know team. what? With that time difference, it, it, it is the difference between Tommy even jumping on a plane up to North Queensland. If they, He won't even get on the plane. He'll be fully about preparation for next week, if that's the case. Mm. You I don't me? know. Yeah, it makes sense. I wouldn't want him to play if I was Manly. And, and I knew I had fourth wrapped up. But my, my, my the integrity of the game... He did sit out a fortnight ago as well. It was a fortnight. Oh, Christ, that, Joel's, Joel's got something the, ready here. The, the Bulldogs the and the Tigers have got one thing to play for. Before the 2040... Don't say pride. They lost their pride, no, both no, these teams, teams for they've got this to play ago. for. They've got the history books and they've got <laughs> trivia covered for the next 400 years. Can you take, can you take me through this, Dan? <laughs> no. No? Can you zoom in on this? Jeez. Can you see this at all? You probably can't. Mate, you've got 15 hey, hours of just, SEM just to, to spout this tell, tell me, rubbish. Tell me what you're looking at there. Uh, how, how easy can you do a 2040? Okay. Kick it. okay. Yeah, but the risk is if you if you miss cure. See, the fullback's there. The team's got it at halfway. Your phone's smashed, by the way. Go and get it yeah. fixed. Um, just tell the listeners what we're talking about, please, Dan. Off the kickoff, the fullback's up near the 40. The wingers are up. All you need to do is catch it, walk back to the 20, and you have got... Fields of football in front of you, <laughs> where you just kick it twenty forty, so and for two, the rest of your life, you can be the trivia person for doing the one and only twenty forty. Well, two Cameron new additions Smith to... did it, and the touchy robbed him. Mm. Cameron Smith actually got the twenty forty, and the touchy robbed it. Uh, so, it, to put a, a full stop on this, Sean, are you comfortable with the format now, which allows teams to be rested, and effectively half the games are now. Trial games, essentially, yeah. or, or, or have very little value. This is the worst I've seen it for the last handful of years. I don't think we got this many potential rest situations last year. This year seems to be an outlier with such a big gap between top and bottom. Um, I don't have a problem with it. What you said before, spot on. Um, if you've earned the right to rest players, then, then why shouldn't you and why wouldn't you? Yeah. I agree. So I got this idea too, just to finish my thing. I'd get rid of Thursday night. I don't do that, don't, <laughs> Joel. You've annoyed me right from the start today, yeah, and we'll continue to do so. You've annoyed you. me yes. right. Okay, it's only my what second week back. Yeah, <clears throat> four weeks to go. Come on, get it together. Um, I would get rid of Thursday night football in the last round, and I and I would not announce the schedule for round 25 until the Sunday night of round 24. Therefore, I can doctor the schedule. I don't have to worry about teams having four-day preparations. Yeah, That's yeah. why I'm getting rid of Thursday night. Yes. So I can have Gold Coast v. Warriors first. I can have Canberra v. Roosters 8 o'clock Friday night. Mm. Channel 9, that's a worthy game, Fox main game. And then on Saturday I or, or Saturday night or Sunday, I have... Cronulla versus Melbourne. Yep. There you go. You get your minor premiership decided on on on, on a big stage, free to air television. I like it. it, it they and 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 then he, and I thought, okay, what's the problem with that idea? Nine loses a game. Well, here's where I give it back to them. We open the season on a Wednesday night, a festival of football, the opening weekend, and we say the premiers host someone. Big game, so Melbourne host Parramatta or Penrith host South. Yeah. That's your opening game on a Wednesday night because by then people are gagging for football. Mm. And your opening weekend is Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, <coughs> Sunday. What it does do, thank you. What it does do is uh, present some good betting opportunities, though, because you can like motivation's huge this time of year, and these these bets never win, by the way. Mm. But the must win if they do win, nothing to play for scenarios, and we've got one straight away. If Raiders, what's well, a must win for Raiders? Yep. Then the Sharks have to win either way, but it's more so related if, if the Raiders have already won the Thursday night. Yes. Because you can't be relying on the Titans not to Titans win by X amount. cover because that could certainly happen. But then if both of those do win, then that Titans game becomes null and void. You've got the over points. Is it surely a tap in there? There's just nothing to play for. Potentially New Zealand as well, which I think look big anyway. So you can, you can find a few angles here. Hmm. 
Okay, well, we better get... We'll get on with the gambling uh, shortly, but uh, we better go in the order we normally do and do Bambi. We left that a bit late last week. I left that a bit late, so let's go. I'm going to go first. I think the I think the crowds in Queensland have been very disappointing. Okay, you can't bag Queensland, and oh, it's the home of rugby league, and it's one. You put you put uh, Friday night at Suncorp. You mm-hmm. had Latrell Mitchell, and you had James Tedesco. You get a rare chance to see them live. Now, I get that Brisbane people are do not buy into the South Roosters rivalry. I totally get that. They had a sprinkling of people. You get to Melbourne Parramatta. Uh, uh, Saturday night, off the back of Cronulla, Brisbane. We could barely get to 10,000. Then, Redcliffe, one, this is, this is, we were supposed to put a franchise there, the, the brain-dead 17th franchise that doesn't create an extra game. Um, by the way, we, we, we're going to ask, we're, we're in a rights deal. We're, we're, uh, the NRL is talking to Channel 9 as we speak, do you think nine are going to say, yeah, not only will we outbid seven and ten, but here's an extra fifty million a year for uh, a seven eight team that doesn't even create an extra game for us? But anyway, um, Redcliffe, this beautiful little stadium, that league doesn't that league oh, club that look deck. like the oh, place? Oh yeah, that just was heaven on earth. Can together. you imagine that'd be like um, the SCG members' first day of the test? Yeah. Right? At, they call it the Paddington Gift. So these old people that have been members for 60 years are sprinting, <laughs> right? And the gun seat at the SCG for the first <laughs> test, right, is the noble is the bar in the noble stand. Same situation, members and ladies, but the bar at the noble behind the bowler's arm. But you want the little table. Mm. And, mate, if you crack that, but you've got to get there at 6 in the morning, yeah. you are set for the day. <laughs> You're watching test cricket behind glass, you got some seats in front of you if you want to sit down. And um, what was the point I was making? Where about was the seat. You're talking about where to sit at Redcliffe. At Redcliffe. Yeah. Oh, the league's club. Mm, I'm yeah. saying, can you imagine? It's at eight in the... It's probably a 24-hour club. <laughs> yeah. you just you just set up the night before, wouldn't you? Yeah. And you just get the thing right in the sun. You got your little... T- there's that. Did and and that. Imagine, imagine if you're sitting there... And uh, all of a sudden, you're just banking at the other end. There's a minute to go. Your team hasn't got the ball. Now there's 20 seconds to go. Your team hasn't got the ball. Yeah. And you need Hamiso Tabuai for <laughs> oh And all God. of a sudden, he's running oh towards you. How Murray blessed. Talangi tips it on <laughs> and he goes... Oh, my God. <laughs> How blessed was I that? I almost gave that money to charity, those yeah. winnings. Almost. Yeah. I had to cover some <laughs> losses. But my Bambi, that beautiful little granted Redcliffe, we, we put Tom Trevojevic on live... Uh, you got two games, Manly Canterbury. All right, you know it's going to be a flogging, but you've got a pretty hot Manly team. Yep. The late game, what was the late game? That was pretty attractive, wasn't it? Whatever that late game was. Panthers, Tigers, you get to see Penrith live. We can't even fill the allocation of seats. Mm. Five and a half thousand for an 11,000 seat stadium when it was 75% So does that hurt capacity. their bid? I think the crowds have been terrible. Now, I brought this up to Gordy because I knew he was going to defend Queensland. And he said, well, the games haven't been marketed at all. You wouldn't know who's on where. And I get that. But, but all of a sudden, isn't it funny? We have to have a game at Suncorp every week. We have to have a game every week. Well, Suncorp, well, sorry, Brisbane, has become Sydney in the last month. They're getting four or five games a week. Mm. You know what they're getting now? They're getting Sydney crowds. Because now all of a sudden... Uh, it's a saturated market. People are picking and choosing. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. Too much so, supply. So I think it, I think this month has hurt Brisbane particularly, and 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 Rockhampton. That ground is a cow paddock. It's a cow paddock. But you know what? It's full. It's Saturday <laughs> afternoon. It looks great. But uh, honestly, that's not an NRL well, standard poor, venue. The, the poor groundskeeper at Rocky just doing his best. But it's buffalo grass. <laughs> Mate, you get people with rug burn coming off the field. No, but anyway, no, I love those. Co- I'd rather those country grounds. So who kite. gets your bid? I'm no against, bid. I, I, 16. We stick at 16. Oh, I totally agree. Mate, I'd go back to 14 before I went up to 17. Yeah. I'd, I'd make hard right, rules. Cut. And if one of the Sydney teams falter at any stage, well, at that point you go, mm. we need a 16th team. Queensland, in you come. I honestly thought by now, I thought the league was moving in a direction where they were going to... Basically, send a Sydney team broke. What? So, so basically, when the Sydney team came cap in hand, 
And and Greenberg said this about ten years ago. Remember, he said we're, we're not for, we're not we're not forking out anymore. And in fact, if Nor a club they. if a club comes to us and says we need a, we need we need a, a payment, we need a, we need m- money. We're mm. reload, we're taking the license. Of course. Problem is the TV money is so good now. And John Grant, the former commissioner, in a bid to win votes over, up the Grant, Grant and the Grant, to such a ridiculous level. Now, now the clubs can mismanage themselves and sack coaches and still keep their heads above yep. water. So, um, so this plan of having Sydney teams relocate is down the drain. But that is my Bambi. Queensland crowds. You've never heard anyone say anything negative about Queensland crowds. I think they've been disappointing. That poor ground, that, that, that poor groundskeeper. I don't actually have one this week, don't so you? take it away. Okay, well, I've dragged no. my back up, and this is this is targeted towards stone throwers, right? So people who just get the phone out and go whack. Oh on social no, media. you haven't been, you haven't been whacked again, have you? No, no, no. I haven't been whacked. No, no I often do. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, holy mighty <laughs> over here. He's given up social media for about three weeks. Anyway, it's about three months. Is it? So I don't believe it. Stone either. throwers, stone throwers. What game makes you think I haven't given it up? Like, what's your evidence to say I I'm, I haven't given it up? Can I just what have I got to gain from that? Can I just now, get through he, one bit? If he's going to cast you aspersions, you know why? Cast that aspersions. Reaction. That's yeah. why. <laughs> oh, what protesters too much? Okay, okay so on. listen, stone throwers and people who interrupt Bambies. The poor old dragon has got hammered from pillar to post for not signing Dufty. Hammered from pillar to post for not signing. There was a bloody petition that had 16,000 people mm. sign the bloody thing, right? I haven't seen 16,000 people come out on social media and say, you know that blast we gave you about keeping Dufty and now we see this superstar Tyrell Sloan. Um, I'd like to say sorry, St. George Illawarra Dragons, for bagging what you're doing. The kid's a superstar. The kid is an absolute superstar. Mm. So... To the stone throwers who who serve it up, but at no stage go. Well, I'm sorry about that. I may have got it wrong. Well, I propose that. Not yet. Only because Dufty, you got to give him a chance at the dogs. But you're right. Sloan, Sloan is very good, and, and and these six weeks might actually prove to be quite. This Sloan's very special. I oh, know. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, that core of young players, if they can all make. Jaden Sullivan's got some got an nice little got a nice little glimpse of them all together. They they did fall away at the end there, but yeah. got a, got a glimpse. Yeah. yeah. But Salomon's not even a hooker. No. He's pretty good. Mm. But he's a, like a, a, out of. Remember the start of the year. I said Amone is the one in front of Sullivan at the start of the year, and I think. At 5'8", at the very least, we agree with that. Mm. But I think of all of them, Sloan's the one. You're comfortably. Right. You're probably right. And in fact, I bet if you um, put uh, truth serum into Griffin, he'd say, I regret not playing Sloan more. Mm. Yeah. Because he could have got half a season under his belt. He's only going to go into the preseason with five games. It's a lovely little taste of first grade, but still, he's a real. He's really <coughs> wet behind the ears. Why don't you have a Bambi, uh, Sean? You don't have much to do during a week. Yeah, can you not no. find one thing to whinge about? No, I, I, I racked my brain all all yesterday and last night, and I'm just in too much of a good place, Dan. The, the vitamins is it Mate, vitamin D really from the sun? <laughs> vitamin D is that what it is? What about Joel asking people to apologise on social media? I mean, what <laughs> world do you live in? What world? That, that's, that's my I, point. I love your the stone throwers. I love your um, uh, positivity, mm. but that's Willy Wonka stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, I oh, know it is. I, I totally agree with it. It is Willy Wonka stuff. It won't happen. All right, but gonna... I just want people who are. Uh, Constantly being negative and pessimistic, just to just to think about your actions because you don't get them right all the time. All right, am I being told to go to a break or uh, we're going to move on? Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to touch on some of the uh, issues from the week and then we're going to make you some money. Sports bet, get them on side podcast. They're sending a message. <laughs> Outside, and the field is set to run. Sorry, everyone, it's, still, it's just... we're still alive in the quaddy. Sportsbet's new bet with mates. Start your group and share in the moment. New from Sportsbet. Now, welcome back, everybody, and we can talk about Latrell Mitchell and the punishment, and 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 um, uh, should he got more? Should he got less? Should he stay? That's all been done. That's been chewed up and spat out. I want to know your reaction to the coverage of the whole thing. The Latrell Mitchell, uh, the the press conference was unbelievable from Trent Robinson. You know that was triple Fox's normal ratings. Really? (laughs) Yeah. More people watched that than the Saturday 3 p.m. game. Is that right? More people watched that. 
Fox, did you notice Fox? They knew they were sitting on gold. They replayed the rob. Yeah, <laughs> they just replayed. But it, the it, it was a beauty. Do you it? think he got the green light? Yeah, from the boss beforehand. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, forty thousand. I, I thought he had to get something because. One, when he, I agreed with nearly everything he said and about the bunker and how is it that the ref doesn't take action unless Joey Manu comes in. All that was right. But as soon as he says, the referees, when they see the roosters, clown music, mm. you've, um, you've now invoked their integrity. So yeah. that was his mistake. If he took that back, it's yeah. almost a, it's a flawless, a flawless performance. He made two mistakes, Robbo. And, and I'm his greatest fan. The first mistake was, you know, the game's big on pushing state of mind, are you okay, all this sort of stuff. Like, the heat that it gets to Henry Perinara, yeah, it, it, like it's not deserved. Mm. And you can imagine the tough week he's had. So thoughts with Henry, by the way. So that was a failure on Robbo's part. The second part, I think, was, you know, like, if he, if he takes Henry's name out of it and doesn't go down the personal angle, but then he also went down the path of making it about the Roosters, mm. as if... You're wearing a rooster jump. You're wearing that's not at all the case. Yeah. I'm the number one supporter of Trent Robinson. Are up there with it. The game is not out to get the roosters, Dan. No, no. You know and that, 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 that's where he really went wrong. That's because really that's you don't get the public offside by mentioning Henry's name. No. You get them offside by mentioning the roosters. That, name. That's what. Yes. That's that's where he went. Well, he, yeah. From a public point of view, that's where he that's where he erred. But uh, the hysteria that has surrounded it has been a bit much for me. But I, I I don't know where that's come from. Well, it was Latrell. It was Latrell's behaviour that was that made it so hysteric. <laughs> don't you reckon? So when he comes back on and he slams the ball down on that Fletcher was, Baker, yeah. So if he j- just to entertain me here, if he immediately sees what he does to Joey Manu mm. and rushes up with great concern, right, and then doesn't do the the Fletcher Baker thing, is he any chance of getting three weeks? Four weeks? Do you think what happened following the event and the fire no. fiery part of it, did that play a big part I don't of think it? so. Well, I'd, I'd, hope, so? I'd hope not, and I no, don't think once so. Once Manu's... Yeah. Like that. Even if he immediately goes up there with great concern, that no, doesn't, doesn't no. matter. You don't think so? It doesn't matter. That was sickening. The the image of Joey Manu, and you could see it literally puff up at, yeah. as he walked from one spot to the other. I've never seen this before. Yeah. You actually saw it expand he, like a balloon. Well, he blew his... Because apparently it, when you... The sinus this is from pressure. NRL Physio, yeah. The air, air goes from somewhere yeah. else that shouldn't be. So it feels like it's building up. So you sort of blew his, um, like you're popping your ears in an airplane, yeah. I suppose. It's a natural thing to do that. And reckon. the eye just went. Have you had that job? No, Timmy Manor was telling me about it. He had it. And he said, you naturally want to do it. Yeah. yeah. And then as soon as you do it, Must you be know awful that feeling. you've been told somewhere not to do because it. You're what you, because when you do that, you are, that's where the air goes. It releases place. the yeah, air. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Don't watch it. I suggest not watching it. Um, but no, I... I the, <laughs> I hate the argument. Oh, little, you know, this is a terrible image for the game. Little mummy's not going to let little Johnny play. I think that is a completely overblown argument. It is. Except in this case, I actually think this is one of the rare instances where, ooh, a guy's got his face smashed in. Do I want my son or daughter to do that? that. that, Yeah. And that that happens very rarely. You know, a high tackle happens in our game. and, And I don't think the, you know, mummy and little Johnny argument bears much weight but I thought in this case it did I can't believe he wasn't sent I cannot believe yeah. he wasn't sent off when you knew as soon as you saw that first replay you knew his season was over Yeah. so if you know his season's over how do you not march him straight away and mm. I thought South heard badly why would you bring him back on well, because I, clearly someone's with him in the dressing room Yeah. you know he's volatile you know he's steaming and he came out ready to, we saw the good and the bad. He ran over the team to get to the try line, but then pff, nearly got just, Baker in the head. Just on the, um, uh, and I totally agree with what you're saying about little Johnny. You know, seeing this and it's. A, I had this couple once upon a time at a barbecue. It was led by the the wife, who's who both the school teachers and, and the wife said, "Oh, it's a mugs game, and, and and their examples are so poor." Blah 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 blah. Every time I've seen this couple, they've been on the drink, and I said to them this time, I said, "Do you know that, you know." And, and, and I, I'll have a beer in front of my kids, so I'm not saying that, you know, I don't do it, but um, I said, every time I've seen you, you've been drinking in front of your kids. Don't you think that has more impact on your kids' upbringing than the occasional game of football they see where someone's clocking someone high? Gee, I'm yeah. sure they took that well. well it, I, it, no, but they were just grandstanding. Yeah. I was like, 
I had to come back at him. Yeah. Out, outside of the, the – it's because it was so graphic, The what happened to his face. That's where it um, – that's probably where the hysteria arose from that I was that, that I was on about. But the the actual tackle itself, I've, you see a million times worse than that. Mm. Like he didn't he didn't lead with the shoulder. He was running a million miles an hour with his chest out. Got it completely wrong. Deserved six weeks. Um, but it was the graphic nature of the injury. Mm. All right, we're going to take a break. I think that topic has been done to death. But wow, uh, uh, what a moment of the game! That was the story of the year, wasn't mm. it? To me, that was that was easily. Yeah. Um, well, you rule you rule out the Roosters and, and South in one fair, fair So, do you put South and the Roosters round one next year? No, you put them round two, round no, three, you, round four when Latrell's back. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Oh, oh, hang on, that means you are okay. So you you've got them in the prelim final. Have I got that? Well, anyway, you work whatever it is that he's yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. yeah, I like your thinking. I like your thinking. All right, that's one from me. Uh, for our K. Joel, it's not, your ideas are usually pretty good. It, it, it only took me to round twenty-five. It's the way but you ram down. them home, and you just you are relentless with them. That's yes. my issue. Yes. Don't forget part three, a very yes, special don't Joel miss Kane, it. Uh, a Noel Kane. You haven't used your favourite word, soliloquy. That's generally when you'd use that, isn't it? Yeah, but it's too late now. You've yeah. taken the, the charm away. I would call it a parable, what you went through. <laughs> yes. uh, so to our audio audience, uh, stay tuned. Part two coming up, as always, Joel. Most importantly, folks, scan responsibly. Have a great week. We have to go! We can't get back to the present to fix the past and save the future! All good, mate! It's just... We're still having our ball day! Hey! My most anytime try scorer! Yeah, you got up! Don't miss Sportsbet's new Bet With Mates. Start your group, bet together and share in the moment. Bet With Mates, new from Sportsbet.